Hello and welcome to the 8th devlog for my project Mass O Kissed. Uh, for the first topic of discussion, uh, I did sort of write a story. Uh, the game is not going to be so, so focused on story, it's definitely going to be uh, using or more focus on the gameplay elements, interesting upgrades, uh, that kind of thing. But a, but a story can't help. The, the gist of it is that uh, you play as a spaceman, I haven't decided a name. Uh, he's on a, a cargo ship originally, um, but he gets attacked by pirates, so gets into an escape pod, jettisons off onto the nearest planet, which just so happens uh, to be the planet Kai. And obviously if you've uh, watched any of my lore videos, you'll know that planet Kai is where the kids, where the enemies that you fight in the game uh, actually live. Uh, so that's quite interesting, and uh, throughout the game there will be a um, uh, sort of narrator character, sort of the big boss man. Um, not not final boss, but um, uh, like like a hi like corporate hierarchy boss. He he's your manager, if you like, um, and and he'll be talking to you on a, on a telecommunicator sort of thing, uh, narrating what you're doing, what you should be doing, and how how well you're doing it. Um, I haven't actually uh, decided who's going to be uh, doing the voiceover for that. Uh, currently, I've got a placeholder. Uh, it is a silly synthesized voice that I got from MeSpeak.com or something of the like, um, and that works okay. Um, it does the job. Not as for a finished project, definitely not. It can barely pronounce anything, but it does, you know, get the timing more or less all right. Um, so yeah, expect something about that to happen um, at some point in the future. Uh, I did remake the first level of the game. Um, well, the first level, uh, in that it's um, just happened to be named Wave 1 uh, in the code. It's not actually... There wasn't a first level, uh, or no linearly defined first level, but that's kind of a weird tangent I just went on. Never mind. Uh, point is, we made the level. It's now a lot longer. Player walks through it, and they get narrated to a bunch. Um, they start off without a gun. They pick up a gun, the kids start spawning, it's all very nice. Um, I've, I've, had, I've done a few, or quite a few small fixes and tweaks, they're not really worth talking about. But um, I, do, I do have one bullet point here which just says that I fixed the background. And you might be looking on your screen right now and seeing, no, this background looks terrible, you obviously haven't fixed it, it looks rubbish. And yeah, that's true. Um, I... Earlier today, at the time of recording, I broke the background again because I made the game full screen by default. Um, now, whenever you, uh, you know, launch the game by default, it should be uh, full screen, which is definitely an improvement. It definitely seems to fit the game better. It looks nicer, uh, and it feels more like a real video game, uh, which which definitely helps. Um, and I am working on you know multiple resolutions and stuff. I don't think that the game right now is resizable. I don't know, I had some problems with actually making it a uh, full screen uh, or windowed, making the toggle uh, for that one. Every time I toggled it, it seemed to do a different thing and it was really quite confusing, but I think for now I've mostly got it down and it isn't too much of a problem. Um, and uh, yeah, those, those can be accessed by the new spectacular settings menu, uh, which I do have implemented. It's only got one option, which is the full screen option. But you know, it's better than nothing. Um, and presumably, if I've remembered to show it in the recording, you will notice that I have a background, uh, which is no longer just repeated uh, dirt texture. Which helps a lot, because uh, the repeated dirt texture, or dirt texture wasn't that good. Um, this is a nice space thing. It's got little uh, kissed sprites who will just fly by. Um, I don't think there's any law implications of that, but they do they do fly by. You can grab them with the mouse, just click on them, drag them around, and they'll always just sort of move towards the center and then go past and fly off. Uh, so that's quite quite good. And uh, lastly, I've uh, implemented uh, the pause menu. Uh, and the pause menu, which, again, hopefully I've remembered to show off in the recording. I should really look at my notes while I'm recording the gameplay footage, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, either way. Screen space shader. I've got a pause menu. Uh, it pauses the game. And um, it gives you some options. You can return to the game. Uh, open the settings menu, I think. 
uh, return to the main menu or uh, exit to the desktop. And um, obviously some pretty important stuff for a full screen game that is having some convenient functionality to exit because I'm scared of using Alt F4 and accidentally closing like everything on my computer. Um, and you might also notice that I have indeed used a screen space shader and I did this by just adding a texture frame object, uh, stretch it all over the screen uh, under canvas layer. Um, and then I just run a fragment shader on that to just put the saturation down and put the light uh, brightness slightly up. I did steal the shader from uh, the Godot's announcement of their new shading language. Um, it works and I don't think anybody will notice that it's gone. Yeah, I had to I had to actually hack Godot servers and just delete their copy of the code so I could use it. It's what happened. Uh 100%. And that's basically all I did. Um again, there's there's a lot of stuff. I mean, this video's been going on 6 plus minutes right now. So, uh I guess it was an okay amount. It doesn't feel like that much um considering as I said, lots of small stuff. Lots of like story stuff which doesn't really translate and I've had to take a few steps back, namely with breaking the background and all. Um, so yeah, next time hopefully I'll have the rogue enemy. I've been putting that off. I've been putting off the rogue enemy sprite for so long, at least four or five days. I was trying to have it done the, actually the day after I posted the last video, so it must be um, six days. Quite a while either way, so stay tuned for that in devlog number nine, and if I don't have it by devlog number nine, uh, just remember to yell at me or send flame, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more devlog updates, more video game updates, and more news on my in-development project, Mass Okizd. Thanks for watching.